Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a very popular OSCE question that appears in the ORE, LDS and MFDS examinations. And this is about how to write a prescription. Now, dentists should only be writing medications within their competency. And it's important before you write a prescription that you assess the patient's condition, take into account any medical history, any drug history, and any form of allergies that they make. Dentists can only prescribe on NHS prescriptions for drugs that are included in the DPF, which is the Dental Practition Formulary, which is now incorporated in the uh, BNF, which is the British National. NHS prescriptions are written on a specific uh, prescription pad. Any medication that is not present within the DPF formulary can also be prescribed, but this can only be then prescribed on a private basis. Private prescriptions can be written on a practice-headed paper, following the same recommendations for NHS prescriptions. It is recommended that prescriptions are only done based on the non proprietary name of the drug, so the generic name of the drug is being used rather than the trade name. Obviously, there are exceptions to this, and this is included in the BNF. So these are the following tips that we would recommend when writing a prescription. It's important that the prescription is written legibly in ink, stating the date, the name and address of the patient and the practice address. It is preferable that the age and the date of birth of the patient is also stated and this is also a legal requirement in the case of prescription only medicines for children under the age of 12. You write the names of drugs and preparations clearly, using approved titles only. Do not use any abbreviation. State the pharmaceutical form to be dispensed, i.e. a tablet, capsule, liquid, and the required strength. This is particularly important for liquid preparations. Talking about abbreviations, it's acceptable to abbreviate milligrams to mg, but do not abbreviate micrograms or nanograms, and these must be written in full to avoid any confusion or doubt. It's important to state the dose and the frequency. State the quantity or the volume to be supplied. This may also be indicated by stating the number of days of treatment. For example, seven days of antibiotics will be required. And if the dose and the frequency is three times a day, then the pharmacy will dispense 21 capsules or tablets or the equivalent amount of volume for the suspension. Hence, coming to the liquid formulation, if the volume to be dispensed will be calculated by the dispenser, provided that the number of days of the treatment required is included, sugar-free versions are also recommended where available. In the case of preparations to be taken as required, require a minimum dose interval and the total quantity to be supplied. And at the end, make sure that the prescription is signed in the ink. Well, thank you very much. I hope this video is beneficial to those who will be taking the exam soon and writing a prescription is very important as well as understanding the pharmacology of the drugs that we are prescribing an old professor of mine used to say that if you do not understand the pharmacology of a particular drug then really should you be prescribing it so it's important to understand how drugs work and if you are interested in the way antibiotics work then if you look at the somewhere on the screen you'll see a link to go and see that video as well well thank you very much if you haven't subscribed please kindly do so and like this video and we'll be bringing more videos for you in the near future. Thank you very much again. Bye-bye.